Base 10 numerals. Suppose we have a number expressed in words 627 and 32 thousandths. Then, how do we write it in base 10 numerals? Let us write this number on a place value chart. The first thing to notice is the word and. Because we have the and, we know that there is a decimal part. The parts we read after the and would represent the decimals. So, we can think of this sentence as having two parts separated by a decimal point. The part before the and and the part after the AND. The part on the left of the AND is the whole number part. Let us write this number on the chart. We have 627. So, we write 6 in the hundreds place, 2 in the tens place, and 7 in the ones place. And now comes the part on the right of the AND, which should be on the right of the decimal point in our chart. This part is read as 32 thousandths. To represent it on the chart, we first need to notice the last bit of the sentence. It says thousandths. This immediately tells us that the decimal part represents a fraction with a numerator and a denominator, with 1,000 in the denominator. If the words were hundredths, the denominator would be 100, and if it were tenths, the denominator would be 10. But since the denominator has three zeros, the decimal part should be represented with three decimal places. This means we need to fill in the places for the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths. What do we write in those places? Look at the words before the thousandths. They are read as 32. So we have to write 32 in those places. But we don't just write 32 anywhere we need to represent exactly 32 parts out of 1,000. Suppose we write 32 immediately after the decimal point. 3 in the tenths place, 2 in the hundredths place, and leave the thousandths place empty. We will have 32 hundredths, and that's wrong. To get the correct value, we should write a zero, and then 32. The general rule for this is that if the number of digits in the numerator is less than the number of zeros in the denominator, then we should write zeros to the left of the decimals until the total number of digits is equal to the number of zeros in the denominator. In this case, we have two digits in the numerator, which is less than three zeros in the denominator. So we write a zero before the number 32. As you can see, we have a zero in the tenths place, then three in the hundredths place, and finally two in the thousandths place. This gives us the correct value, which is 32 thousandths. Now, the complete number is written correctly using base 10 numerals, as represented in the place value chart. In this lesson, you learned how to write decimal numbers to thousandths using base 10 numerals.